Now this is about the entire storm that has now escalated over the women's quota bill that is going to be discussed in the special parliamentary session by the opposition alliance. Now Congress's Jairam Ramesh actually put out a tweet on his social media handle on X formerly known as Twitter. He has questioned Centre and has taken a dig on Twitter wall as well issuing some of the facts about the women's quota bill. The Congress party has for the past nine years has been demanding that the women's reservation bill already passed by the Rajya Sabha should now get passed by the Lok Sabha as well. That is the big demand coming in from the opposition alliance and has been uh, tweeted out by Jairam Ramesh of Congress. To give us more details about the tweet that Jairam Ramesh actually has put out, I have a CNN News 18's Shriya Kundu joining me live from the newsroom to take us uh, through all those points. Shriya, over to you. Right, Sakshi. Uh, right, Sakshi. Right now, we have here Jairam Ramesh's uh, post on social media uh, platform X, and what he has uh, towards the very beginning said is that he has demanded the women's reservation bill should be passed in the Lok Sabha during the special session of the Parliament. Now, what are some of the facts that are coming up? Because a lot of politics has been playing over the Congress and the women's uh, uh, Congress's take on the women's reservation bill in the past as well. Very firstly, he has said that Rajiv Gandhi was the first person who introduced constitution amendment bills for one third reservation in panchayats and nagarpalikas in may 1989 it passed in lok sabha but failed in rajya sabha in september 1989 second the prime minister pv narasimha rao reintroduced constitution amendment bills for one third reservation for women in panchayats and nagarpalikas in april 1993 both bills passed and became a law now, thirdly, now there are more than 15 lakh elected women representatives in panchayats and nagarpalikas. This comes to about 40%. Uh, for as Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh brought constitution amendment bill for one third reservation for women in parliament and state legislatures, bill passed on March 9, 2010 in the Rajya Sabha, but it was not taken up in the Lok Sabha, which is the current situation. Uh, five bills introduced or passed in Rajya Sabha do not lapse. Women's reservation bill is still very much active. And the Congress party has for the past nine years been demanding that the women's reservation bill already passed by the Rajya Sabha should now get passed by the the Lok Sabha as well. This is the tweet that we are seeing that has come in from uh, Jairam Ramesh and it uh, points out all the past uh, instances where this women's reservation has been, women's quota has been pushed by various leaders of the Congress uh, party who have been in the Prime Minister's office before. Well, thank you so much, Shriya, for elaborating all those points that have been tweeted out by Congress's Jairam Ramesh. I am going next to CNN News 18's Pallavi Ghosh joining me live on uh, the phone line as well. Pallavi, a very good morning to you. I want to understand from you, is that safe for us to say that Congress is now trying to take away uh, the credit of women's quota? See, this is something which they have been doing so. And to be fair, in 2010, the Women's Reservation Bill was passed in Rajya Sabha. And the procedure simply is that such a bill stays alive once it's cleared in Rajya Sabha, in Lok Sabha it couldn't, mainly because of resistance coming from its own party and its allies like the RJD and the Samajwadi party for that matter. But of course, if the bill comes up, and I think what Jairam Ramesh is trying to do is preempt that, the first strike advantage, uh, if the bill is actually listed for the special session of parliament, the Congress party will jump in to say that we were the first ones to get it passed in Rajya Sabha. Sonia Gandhi has written a letter once to the Prime Minister just recently, even before K. Kavita's letter, making the point that this is a bill which needs to be cleared. Now, if there is a possibility of a women's reservation bill, there could be some changes which are made to it. Also, the BJP will clearly make the point that you were in power. If you were could not convince your own allies and your own party colleagues, then the blame of not passing the women's reservation bill has to be taken by the Congress party as well. Well, Pallavi, thank you so much for bringing in all those crucial details. We'll keep coming back to you.